Hello and welcome to another video here on Power Dojo. In this video, we're going to have a look at a feature called Scheduled Refresh. Now, over here we have a Power BI report, different visuals in it. Now, if you are one of the resident Power BI experts in your company, your second nature will be to refresh the data set every time you open this Power BI report. But there might be few among your team who only visualize these kind of reports and they don't need to interact with them. It might happen that they are not looking at the updated numbers, updated figures. So in order to resolve this issue of making sure that the user is looking at the updated figures, that the Power BI report has been refreshed using the latest data set, Power BI lets you do that using the feature called Schedule Refresh. Now, you can't do this in Power BI Desktop. You need to go to Power BI Service. So once you publish this report, You'll be able to visualize this report in Power BI service like this, which is exactly the report that we were looking at in Power BI desktop. Now, in order to implement this schedule refresh, what you need to do is click on these three dots over here, more options, and choose this option, view semantic model. As soon as you open it, see it directs us to a, a new page where at the bottom we will see our Power BI report. And among the options at the top, you will see an option called refresh. Now, if you were to just click on refresh, it can refresh the data set for you. But what if you don't want to do this manually every time? For that, we have the option called schedule refresh. So we'll click on this. Now, in order to successfully use this schedule refresh option, you need to make sure of one thing. And among the options provided in the option data source credentials, you already have one of your data source credential in place right now i'm using a data set which is an excel sheet on my personal drive so i had to put in place something called as power bi data gateway for the time being you just need to make sure that you have the data source credentials in place and there is no error message appearing for this option once you ensure that all you need to do is go on this option called refresh click on it so among the options, you will have two choices, whether you want to use the coordinated universal time UTC or a specific time zone. Once you select that, you can just toggle this button to on where you will configure a refresh schedule. Once you do that, you can also set in the frequency in which you want to refresh your data set. So that it can be daily or weekly to choose weekly you need to choose the days in the week when you want to refresh our data set for instance if you don't want an updated data set on the weekends you just need to uncheck this or you can choose the option of daily now if you're choosing daily or weekly you also need to specify the time in the day based upon the time zone that you choose at which hour you want to refresh your data set so for instance if i want to refresh data set every morning at 8 a.m you can set that way now for our power bi license you have an option of adding eight eight different time in the day to update your power bi data set if you want to have more options more than eight options you will need to look into power bi premium license but in our case I believe eight different hours in the day are more than enough. Now there might appear a, a case when your data doesn't refresh or the report doesn't refresh it can be an error related to your data source or something else. So just in case if it happens, you need to make sure that the right person gets a notification that okay, the refresh has failed. So for instance, if I have to keep semantic model owner, which is me in this case, I will get a notification the refresh has failed or if you require you can send to someone else in your in your team who has access to your workspace and all we need to do is apply once we do that the schedule refresh feature has been applied to this power bi report and and there you go it's a very simple feature that you can put in place and you don't need to manually refresh your data set every time so that's it for this video on schedule refresh let me know in the comments below of what you thought about it don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you in the next video